Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about hair products and we are going to be talking about a certain product which I came across which at the start of the year you would be used to seeing after we've had that winter where you may have been indulging in sort of lots of heavy products for the party season in your hair. Um, for example, you might not necessarily be taking as much time to look after your scalp. Um, of course, we're in February. A product I came across by the Maui range and it's for moisture. I'm just going to quickly show you that's just jump straight in with it here. So it's uh, by Maui and it's for moisture and the thing is which really jumped out for me on this one is I am into anything which is all quite sort of sciencey quite different quite sort of out there and particularly for looking after your scalp if you're using a lot of hair products now let's pick up on the range straight away so the Maui moisture detoxifying okay detoxifying and that's with volcanic ash shampoo for dull congested hair that's purify and illuminate exotic volcanic ash citrusy bergamot oil and zesty ginger extract it's a 385 ml okay um, and that's the same for the conditioner as well and the thing is which uh, I really really like about this is it's completely sort of different in terms of the packaging it stands out when you're when you're looking for products and what I really really like is it says here made with 100% aloe, jo uh, aloe juice as first ingredients and it's got no mineral oils no silicones no sulfates no LS no SLS, no synthetic dyes, no L's, yes vegan, yes pure coconut water, and yes pure aloe juice. Okay, so let's get into why I would have chose it. So for dull and congested hair. So if you have watched any of my clips at all from my channel, you will know that I've used a lot of hair products. I love those sort of 1920 slick back styles with lots of gel, lots of free spray, lots of products which keep my hair kind of rock solid throughout the day with that style. If I'm not using that, then I will use a style a little bit like what I've got today, a lot more volume. And my, one of my favourite styles is those 1950s Pompadour sort of Elvis inspired styles. And for that, because my hair is quite fine, I use a lot of sort of texturising powders, a lot of sprays and just overall a lot of product to get my hair to stand up into that style, which I like. Of course, not a problem, but you do have to make sure if you're going to do that, like me, that you're going to look after your scalp, of course, to help that hair growth come through and to just have an all round healthy scalp and healthy hair. So that's why I chose this Maui Moisture Detoxifying Volcanic Ash. Number one, because of the volcanic ash, absolutely love anything sciencey, love anything sort of in regards to trichology, looking after your scalp and your hair. If there's anything which is sort of all oh, that's completely different, I will certainly jump in with it and particularly because it's that sort of a sciencey element in there with the volcanic ash as well um, and of course because of congested I thought that I use a lot of hair products on my hair I've never come across a product which actually says and highlights it's for congested uh, hair and for dull very often if you're using a lot of sprays particularly hairspray that can make your hair appear a little bit dull once you've washed your hair you've shampooed you got your hair through and if you're using a lot of product you particularly haven't had a cut for a long time then if your hair's dull a product like the Maui Moisture would be a fantastic uh, amendment to your style um, and certainly how you go on to style your hair. Let's jump straight into it in terms to price. So this was on offer this was around I believe this was six pounds just over six pounds fifty please don't quote me on that because time you watch this clip those price may change but I know for Maui products for hair shampoo conditioner they usually sit between around the six to about the eight pounds mark i believe very often i buy my hair products in boots that's why i bought this one here the shampoo and the conditioner was i believe six pounds fifty possibly a few pence more than that but i know it was definitely around about the six pounds sixty mark so in terms of a 385 ml bottle for natural ingredients with no harsh products and things like that in there and you're getting that natural element with the volcanic ash a really great buy that maui range is something which seems to be growing I know when I've gone into Boots and Superdrug now, um, you can pick those up and very often they're on offer. And I know they do a whole range about a whole host of all different uh, hair types and of course for different concerns and things with your hair. Um, now in terms of the product straight away, let's, let's really get going on that. So shampoo. With the shampoo, which 
I really, really liked is the element of the volcanic ash. So I wanted to make sure that it had that on here. And in the ingredients, it actually says, lo and behold, volcanic ash. And that's just literally simple what it says here. So it's it's um, listing all the products. And then here we've got volcanic ash. If you look a little bit further down as well, it has got charcoal powder. Now, charcoal powder, I know, I have found and come across that in shampoos before, which is for oily hair. So for congested, whether or not that is aimed at somebody who's got quite an oily scalp, quite an outbalanced scalp, or for somebody who's using a lot of products, for me, I think that's, that's really sort of embrace that if you've got either one then certainly a product to try how did i get on when i've used it so i have used the maui detoxifying uh, shampoo and conditioner here i would say about maybe six seven times i've used that i will be honest it's not a product i was actually able to use every day so i was having to drop in and out of that and here's why so the shampoo really it's a product which straight away i think I was thinking it was going to be something else. I thought it was going to be this really sort of intense moisture, this sort of product which was going to just sway in, make my whole scalp sort of sleek and my whole hair sort of really quite nice and sleek so you could barely touch it with moisture. So it was that really nice softness. It didn't do that. I'm not saying I'm disappointed with it, but I thought it was going to be something slightly different. Um, when you use the shampoo, it's got a slight sort of uh, grayness color to it. It's clear. I would say actually, even though the packaging is really good for the, the Maui range, I find it a little bit difficult to get it out of the bottles, particularly when I use quite a lot for my hair because I have a lot of product always in my hair. So I have to shampoo my hair twice. And I'm about a third of the way through now, possibly even a little bit more. I was just trying to see on the conditioner. I think I'm about here on the conditioner, maybe a little bit less than that, here. And on the shampoo, I'm about here here so you can see about here it's about a third of the way through and I have to say when you start getting that in then there's air in there it's a little bit difficult to squeeze out but however that's not a major issue at all um let's go back to the shampoo so it's in it's slightly gray in color it's quite a clear shampoo um straight in creates a nice lather now here's where my expectations were a little bit different i thought that it was straight away going to be really quite soothing on my scalp detoxifying for me is sort of getting rid of those sort of nasty elements perhaps you're a little bit out of balance on your scalp and i really thought it was going to be a little bit more soothing than what it actually was for me you do get that sense in terms of smell if you if you're ever outside and it's been raining and you've got wet stones or anything around or you've got like stones in the garden or things or if you're just out and about and you've got stone um or if you're walking around and ground has sort of got quite wet it's that kind of smell of sort of uh like sort of wet stone and that sounds quite strange but bear with me of that because you do get a hint of that staying on the smell bergamot now Bergamot for me is a really sort of a fruity smell, but it's almost that fruity it becomes floral. And the more you keep smelling it, the more floral it gets. Now, for me, again, that's quite a required smell. Um, as a man using it, it's not a product which I would be using all the time because of the smell as well. It's really, really nice, but it does tend to get quite sickly. So in there, you've got that element of the bergamot. Sadly, I don't get ginger. It says zesty ginger. I love ginger, but I do not get a smell of ginger in there. The bergamot certainly do. And if you've been outside, and again, what it reminds me of, you've got a scent of sort of if you've ever had a room plastered of wet plaster. And it's a nice way, not a horrible overbearing smell. It's a nice sort of smell. But the bergamot for me just gets a little bit too sickly. Nice at first when you're down then to conditioning, because for me, the bergamot is much more paramount in the conditioner rather than the shampoo. In terms of shampoo, we've talked very briefly about it. But when you're going in, I've actually... Sometimes I've used it once to shampoo my hair if I've got a lot of product and I use it twice. Um, and why do I do that, you may think. So once to wash all the products out, number two, for all the benefits in the product uh, to really flourish in my scalp, to really get my scalp going with those ingredients in there as well. How did I think the shampoo was? For me, it wasn't, I didn't find detoxifying. I don't really know. For me, something detoxifying, I would find that it would be really quite soothing, really quite creamy, really quite a nice sort of almost like a sensitive type of product to really sort of improve health. Now, for me, yeah, absolutely, certainly it would do that. But for detoxifying, no, I would probably say it's a shampoo which has volcanic ash and clay in like a, a clay sort of sort of uh, product in there. But of course, it's the charcoal powder and it's the volcanic ash, which from sort of an interest of mine, a science element, really, really great. 
when you're using it? What does that do for your scalp? It's, it kind of leaves me thinking a little bit underwhelmed, I'm afraid. Um, it's a great product, but it's a shampoo which has a natural element in it. Would I know there was volcanic ash in there? Probably not. Unfortunately, well, I'm really sorry to say that. Um, the shampoo for me, yes, it looked after my scalp. Did it feel a little bit more better in balance? Yes. However, not amazingly. Could I compare that to possibly another shampoo and conditioner? Yes, I could. Um, which is a great shame, really, because I have really high expectations for that. Certainly because I've seen on the packaging as well, they have a really nice sort of image here of the sort of the steam, sort of a picture up here on the mountain, sort of uh, like a volcanic sort of image. Then you've got sort of, um, I would say, like the charcoal powder, and then just giving you a little bit more of a touch of where the product sort of comes from. Um, yes. Unfortunately. A little bit like that, a little bit underwhelmed. But however, it's a nice product. If you are buying it and you think volcanic ash, yep, that's really, really nice. Are there benefits for my scalp? No. Let's move on to the congested sort of element side of it saying for congested hair. I didn't find that it really made too much of a difference. Yes, it was quite nice on my scalp. Yes, it sort of had a nice balance. Um, what I would say is why I didn't use this every day is because shampooing my hair with it, it felt lovely and soft. Not hugely full of moisture, but it felt nice and soft, nice and natural and in balance. Um, wouldn't shout out and say that, I, oh, it's detoxifying because it's quite a strong claim for something which for me didn't really stand up to that. Um, I've used products in the past where I've used it as a shampoo and it's sort of like, wow, really lovely, soft. My skin feels lovely at the back of the nape of my neck. My scalp feels really nice when I'm styling my hair. For this, it was just nice, natural, in a balance. Um, let's move on to the conditioner. Now, I say in the conditioner, the bergamot is a really, really strong apparent smell. You kind of have a less of a sort of an outdoor sort of a wet stone smell. And that's more in the shampoo. The conditioner is really sort of bergamot. Now, I try leaving that in my hair a little bit whilst I'm washing sort of in the bathroom. And the conditioner is really nice. Looks after your hair. Um, what it does do after when you wash the conditioner, I find, is that it gives your hair a little bit more body. It gives your hair a bit more texture. For something which is screaming moisture, um, it certainly is not as sleek as what you would imagine it to be, certainly when it's giving claims for volcanic ash and, of course, um, for detoxifying and for congested hair. You think that it would be really soft flowing. Your hair would be, you'd be able to sort of run your fingers through it and it would be really nice and soft and sleek. It's soft, but it's not that sleek. For me, it actually was sort of a little bit tangled in places. It was sort of trying to sort of cling my hair together a little bit. A little bit disappointing. Um, would I use the product again? Probably not, because I found that when I used the shampoo for, I think it was about three times in a row, I found that in the evening, if I washed my hair sort of, say, around about seven o'clock in the bathroom, by about nine, ten o'clock, my neck and sort of parts of my scalp were starting to itch me. And I always find that when a product starts doing that to you, what is in that product? Well, it's not agreeing with you. Something which is meant to be detoxifying and congested hair, you'd think would be really caring, really soothing. Unfortunately, I found that it actually made me a little bit sort of irritated in places. Um, and that does leave me a little bit underwhelmed. But however, the Maui range is a really good range. It has fantastic reviews. Somebody else might use this product. This is personal opinion. It's just based on me using the product. Um, and OK, I didn't get on amazingly with it, but it was a really lovely product to try. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. For me, I really like that sort of volcanic sort of uh, element in there and the charcoal powder. Um, nice. Would you know it was in there? I'm not so sure. Try it yourself. See what you think. You may think, ah, Absolutely, it's really, really nice. Well, you may have used a similar product about it before. Uh, for me, not so much. I wouldn't know that. I've used other products before um, at about the similar uh, price range, shampoo, conditioner. And even though it doesn't say detoxifying, I would probably class them more detoxifying than what this is. Um, for me, for example, sometimes if you're using a lot of hairspray and things, your scalp can get a little bit sort of agitated, a little bit out of balance, um, possibly a little bit dry or even a little bit oily um, if you're using lots of waxes and sort of um, pomades and things. Um, and we're talking men and women's hair here, of course. Um, for me, this wouldn't really be getting it 
as a detoxifying one. I've used other products which I would class as more detoxifying for getting in there, increasing the sort of the healthy balance in your scalp. Not so you've got that real tightness in your scalp, really working on that. Would I say this would do that? Small amount, possibly. But there we go. All in all, a good product, not a fantastic one in my opinion, but really nice all the same to try. Um, give it a try yourself, see what you think, and hopefully this helps. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this clip, and hopefully if you do get the chance or opportunity to try it, give it a, give it a try, see what you think. Um, absolutely, as I say, all in good for price, sort of moderate price range there, uh, around about the £6.50, possibly around, I think it was around about the £6.60 mark, um, so of course a good price for the amount of product which you get here as well, and of course it's a good range, and it doesn't, you have to remember, it doesn't have all those sort of nasty products in there which makes a product lather, has that sort of artificial sleekness, the Maui Moisture Detoxifying range doesn't have that. So, all in all, a moderate review. Good product, not excellent. So there we go. I hope you really enjoyed this clip. I certainly have. So until next time, we will see you then. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.